What did the plan achieve? Well, it achieved plenty. It was about water use efficiency in the main. So um, better drainage, better application of water, uh, more productivity. Uh, and in that respect, it's been outstandingly successful. It's uh, integrated all the various aspects, agriculture, biodiversity, uh, water, all those subjects are now in the same basket. When I first started, they were all separate issues, they were silos. It's uh, put, a, put the Golden Valley in a sustainable position when it comes to water management and uh, particularly salinity and the issues and brought the community together more. I believe the, uh, the community has been the big winner out of this. An opportunity to work together as a community and for different agencies to work together, so I think that's one of the um, effects it's had. I reckon over the last 30 years there's probably two key differences. One would be the, the farm practices and getting people to improve their practices on farm. The second one would be around drainage and the plan implemented a program that was going to take 200 or more years in about 30 years. I reckon that was a really major achievement. It's probably achieved a lot. The plan has actually led to um, greater farming practices than before, better care of the environment and um, practices now that we take for normal that weren't considered back in the late 90s. Well the biggest difference is joined everybody together, everyone understands each other and farmers are now starting to trust the Catchment Management Authority and, and places they didn't trust at all. I guess the biggest thing is that it's, um, it's worked and it's been an integrated plan it's put farmers in control of their own farms with the science and the technology and they could make the decisions about what was the best thing, the best approach on their particular farm. Working with the community and getting them to understand what we're trying to achieve is, is it's been really important and, and it's actually allowed us to do all sorts of things that I think if we went back 30 years we would never have thought we'd be able to achieve. The plan grew. It started off as salinity and it grew into encompass all environmental issues. As we gradually worked out, they were intertwined and, and interacted off each other, all the different issues. Sometimes you can't get everything you want. Sometimes you've got to back off. You win some, you lose some, and that's how it is. That's what it is. If you're dealing with politicians, that's how it always is. As time went by, the climate uh, dried, there's a lot less water in the landscape and therefore the plan needed to change from what it had originally been envisaged. Because it was all about land and water management, it was, um, it was by very nature flexible. One issue that came to, to mind was the Makatar Depression, the uh, drainage scheme up there. And uh, we thought we had a wonderful scheme, we all thought we had a wonderful scheme, but uh, there was pressure from downstream, downstream people that were worried about flooding. And, uh, that brought the whole plan to a head politically and uh, whilst it was a terrible, difficult time, uh, I believe we've come out with a much better plan. That adaptation was, uh, uh, was what it's all about. Uh, so you had to adapt. There was droughts coming and there was floods coming, but that's life. And uh, so if the plan couldn't adapt, it wouldn't work. If you had an issue, you'd throw it on the table. Let's just talk about it, you know? And that was never done before. Whoever was best placed to do the particular task was encouraged to do it, and it worked pretty well. Regardless of the issues and challenges, we always had respect for others and trying to, what do they say, go hard on the issue, not the person. If you're talking about a legacy of the program, I think that sort of approach came from those guys way back then, and we're still pushing it. And. Um, Hopefully we get to do it for a while yet. It wasn't the done thing for agencies to work so closely together. So getting everybody in the same room, aiming for the same goals, was a real challenge. It worked. Yeah, when you can get people working collectively, the, the, the sum of the inputs is greater than the parts because p p different people and organisations bring different things to the table. Oh, you never, you never admit mistakes. No, no. Uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there always is because we were 
we were breaking new ground in, in many ways and uh, there, there just had to be mistakes. Uh, fortunately there weren't too many enormous mistakes made and uh, on balance we, uh, we were certainly, uh, certainly uh, on the right side. My only big problem is that I think councils have too much power over vegetation. It should not be vested in councils because they're only interested in money. I think if I had my time over again, I would have actually focused a little bit more on the equilibrium. That, you know, how far can you push the system without breaking it? I think that was probably, if we had introduced that a bit earlier, I think we would have picked that um, the equilibrium was going to be a bit more acceptable. Oh, well, everybody makes mistakes. The first mistake was probably thinking that things were going to stay as they were at the start and that it was going to stay wet and we would need to continue to pump groundwater, remove surface water and continue with the farming practices that we had. I would have liked to have seen um, greater emphasis on biodiversity earlier up, so even maybe have, having the ability to provide incentives for um, biodiversity conservation. Farmers have, have got a, a very good understanding now of, of what the whole issues are and farm planning I think is one of the greatest achievements that uh, the plan achieved actually. The wider community has understood what we're trying to do and, and I think them recognising that we can't waste water, them recognising that poor behaviour is poor behaviour uh, and them advocating on our behalf that we actually need to do something. The waterways being part of the deal I think was a real improvement and, um, and I think not just looking at the damage we were doing like say with, with uh, nutrients and blue-green algae but looking at the way we could enhance I think it's been very positive. We had really good leaders who were committed to the program. They understood it and they were prepared to go out when the issues got hard to their communities to try and get them on board. We don't dig big holes in the ground now for water to rush down. We do meandering drains through reed beds and everything that's great for wildlife and the whole environment. Just, you know, things are being done much more sensibly. Well, the next 30 years is getting our minds around climate change and uh, reduced uh, water availability for, for agriculture. It's about making sure that our system is viable as well as our farmers. I think the priority is to build that, the resilience and the ability to, to respond to, <clears throat> to whatever the changes we have to deal with. And then change and move so that those issues can be addressed. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of them. Who knows what they are?